Previously on... We got the bell! He barely got up last time. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. What? Bro, I'm clean with it. You're the Electronic Arts Boxing Federation champion. Tyson's next. Fight of the year? Round of the year? Fourth round? Knockout of the year? Fighter of the year? What do you mean? I already beat this guy. I can't. You guys aren't allowing me to work to the bottom. I'm gonna try and go up top. You know, you just 
you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You can trade that in for something even bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. Mike Tyson is trying to get back to where he was here in this round. He's knocked down in the last round. I tell you, when you're the opponent and you knock the guy down, those opening few moments of the next round, you try to size up and try to take into account where your opponent is. You look into his eyes and assess the situation. Well, I don't know if you get close enough to look right into his eyes at this point. But first of all, in the corner, you better not send your fire out of his eyes so it looks clear. That's your responsibility, looking out for the fire. But as the opponent out there, you look at his legs. If his legs look a little wobbly, you can get right on. It's all about being smart. Yeah, you know, the early punches set up the late punches. Protect the ears, protect the ears. How does he survive? You gotta start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. Committing to the work downstairs with the left. Good way to protect the midsection. He's throwing haymakers. Simple. The old time will say, move your head, otherwise your opponent will move it for you. Round number eight is underway. Teddy, a chance to look at your scorecard. You got him up pretty good. We often use that word judicious in describing a fighter of picking your spots and being effective when you do. Well, that's a good point, John. That's exactly what he's doing. You know, he's making him do what he wants to do without even coming forward. You know, he's pushing him all over the ring, but not with any physical force. Just All right. making sure that he controls the guy mentally, that he makes the guy feel a certain amount of pressure, and makes the guy react the way he wants him to react. Boom! He's gone. Alphabet soup. That's why he is Alphabet soup. A B C. I got a new one. The Electric Arcus Boxing Commission Championship belt is all yours. You've put time in the gym and ring. This is going to help your way of becoming the greatest of all time. See, I was in the middle of the fight. I was like, man, I think I have to fight Ali again. We're fighting Ali again. Who was the uh, fighter of the year? I'm 64th? Really? I think this was like by like one point. <laughs> yeah, literally one point. Lost the first. Yeah, well, that was a roller coaster of a match, and uh, I have to fight him again.
Yeah, this guy? Fighter of the year? What do you mean? I beat him. Granted, it was three years ago. Oh my god, I'm so much better than this guy. God train. Taller has longer reach, weighs more. Careful. Carries that punch away. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. That is a sharp uppercut by Muhammad Ali. Firing on the uppercut. Great exchange. In a little bit more. Yeah, I'm trying to go to the body, but the game won't allow me. Put that chain into the piggy bank because it's going to add up. Body punches add up. And now he's targeting upstairs. That pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Nice combination. Throwing more than one. Both scored there. Ten seconds to go in this third round. And we come to the end of the round. 
moved your head side to side. As we start round number four, it's clear to see that it's his precise punching that has earned him good grades in his scorecard, Teddy. With all that accuracy, clean, effective punching, he's up three rounds to zero. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder if he went to medical school because he did a surgery tonight. Here we go, here we go. Good look at two punch combination there. Scores up top with a left. Ali's giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. These rounds feel like they're going on forever. Nobody has a clear win on the stamina round. And sometimes they throw you off a little bit. But we know who should be ahead on the scorecards in this fight. Yeah, and he does too, and his opponent does too. And you see it in his body language. It's starting to get a little discouraged a little bit. And of course, you see also that the guy winning right now, he's starting to behave like a guy that's winning. He's staying Are you trying not to throw off punches, bro? Almost going into that kind of prevent defense you see in football. Come on, Ali's doing well here with that two-punch combination. Oh, fuck. One punch. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. Son of a bitch. I am fighting to keep my eyes open. Muhammad Ali is so dangerous with that accuracy at 
This is a very boring round. This is going to be crucial, though. Did I win that? <laughs> You saw him, like, region pain, too. He took a shot, but he gets one of his own, a left-hand score. Do that one more time. Unable to make an impact there by Muhammad Ali. Well, if people were questioning, can I go 12 rounds? That's what she said. <laughs> Last one. Knock me out. Come on, knock me out. Come on, throw something. Wait, did I knock him down? I don't think I did. Well, I mean, I won every round this fight, except nine, which I gave him. Dude, he has no stamina left. Come on. All I'm going to say is he didn't get up before the bell. Easily. I could have gone 120 against him. I took more damage. I already beat him. I already beat him. I beat him. Muhammad Ali needs to retire. 